make sense. And the YouTube streets are on fire. They're in shambles. And we got to talk about it. So hit that like button as the intro plays, because I don't even know where this is about to go. I, I don't know where this is about to go, y'all. I was listening to Make It Make Sense. Shout out to Make It Make Sense. Make Thank it you. Make sense to me intellectually. Make it make sense. <laughs> make it make sense. You know what was up. I ain't got it. <laughs> Big moves. Surfer. Make it make sense. Tell me how you squeeze it. Make it make sense. Tell me about the things that you say. Make it make sense. Tell me about the things in your dreams. Hey, let me work out all the things. Make it make sense. Tell me how you squeeze it. Make it make sense. Tell me about the things that you say. Make it make sense. Tell me about the things in your dreams. Hey, let me work out all the things in between. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Tell me how you squeeze it. Make it make sense. Tell me about the things that you say. Make it make sense. Swallowed up, swallowed up, swallowed up. Have you ever been swallowed up? No. My bad. I'm sorry. My bad. Okay, y'all. First off, somebody sent me a link where I made it to Lipstick Alley. You know I love Lipstick Alley, but they talking about they can't trust me because I look like Jesse Smollett. <laughs> that... That low key took me out. You know, I don't take myself seriously. Uh, <laughs> and y'all know, I, was, I, I let you guys know that Lipstick Alley was literally the first people to really talk about what was going on with Cassie. And they did it in real time. People just didn't believe them. So I get a lot of Jules Santana. Uh, a lot of people ask me if I have, have like Indian or um, I think they're called South Asian or Middle Eastern descent. Jesse's a new one. Jesse's a new. <laughs> okay, but anyway, so we're gonna get into the TG Jakes, Larry Reed, Prophet Manasa stuff because I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen it. It's really salacious. As I was listening to everybody talk, um, the initial guy who talked about the Larry Reed expose, Larry Reed himself, Conscious TV. Because I was watching all those things, then YouTube started putting me in a loop. And I stumbled on this content creator. I can't remember his name. He was he was actually really kind of like funny, um, very checked into everything going on in kind of like the religious sector of YouTube. But he made a point about Christian Keys that I did not even know. And it, you know how I am. It got my wheels to turn it. So let's talk about it. I was pretty much over with the Christian Keys stuff until he chose to, to actually come out and say something more because my source had already told me that a check was issued. So, you know, I feel like anybody who has been the victim of something deserves a payout. But my issue was that's not how he told us this was going to go. Christian said that he was very bothered by what had happened to him and he was a victim of something, and he wanted to come out with information to help other victims. And I took him at his word. He has now been radio silent, so although I believe if a check was issued to him, then if what he was saying was true, he deserved the check. But don't tell us that it's for all of the other victims if you're not going to come forward. The person who I was watching pointed out that not only has Christian Keys not said anything, Christian Keys also took that video down. There is no longer this video of Christian Keys exposing what happened. That is very curious. What would be the point of taking this down if you are speaking truth to power? It gives some credence to well, did you get the check? And now you're not going to say anything. Then let me show you this. This person also pointed out. Now, this is just somebody's opinion. So let me put my banner up. But if you go to Christian's page, Christian has, I want to make sure this, there's no sound here. Hold on one second. How do I make sure that there's no sound that's going to play? Because he has, Christian also put out a music album right in December of 2023. So a lot of his posts now contain his music. Um, 
let me take it off this tab first and then i'll just share something else first because i have to make sure that i don't play his music mute this Okay, so if you look at this post, it says almost five years of work and we are finally here. Black Don't Crack Skincare, which is a good name. Side note, I really love the name. Um, Black Don't Crack Skincare, facial moisturizer for, men, for women and men. Bless your skin, empower your skin. You can pre-order on Black Don't Crack. So this person pointed out after five years of struggling, now you're able to put out your skincare line. And I said, wait, hold up. But they also made a joke about them being on the ski slopes. Now, Christian already had his own money from whatever. I heard Christian lives in a very nice home um, in California, in a nice area. But some might wonder where you got the money from. Just the thought. Just the thought. No victim owes the world anything. But if you are a victim who comes forward and says that you want to come forward and name drop and show all the proof to help other victims, then I almost kind of feel like, you know, we're going to take you at your word. We are going to be the ones to support you. Push the public interest in it so that nobody else gets victimized in that way. If, you know, my source and these allegations are true, you know... Somebody said, I think he lives in an apartment. I thought it, I'll check back with, I'm going to check back with my source, but I thought it was a house. Either way it goes, um, oh, you say high rise apartment. I will definitely check with my source and see. Either way it goes, your album came out, which would be, this would be great publicity for your album because a lot of people didn't know that you sang. Your skincare came out. So even if a check was not issued, this is the best and more publicity than he would have ever imagined. And technically, it was free publicity. Also, with all this free publicity, even if a check wasn't cut, then you would be able to pull in investors because now they know you're, you're popping like that. And... I'll, I'll be very honest. I sided with Christian. I believed everything that he said about having multiple recordings, about having um, like definitive proof about him knowing that he cannot sue, but he is going to, you know, press charges anyway so that it could. I don't know. Y'all do with that as you may. But the skincare line came out. At the same time, the album came out at, in December of 2023. I don't know. I don't know what to do with this. I just really hope that what he told us would happen so that other victims will not have to go through this actually happens. <laughs> Somebody said he showed how to get paid. For <laughs> um. No, I'm not saying boycott him because I don't know. This is just all at this point, it's just speculation. But when you say you're going to speak truth to power and then you, you know, you don't say anything and then you erase your actual tape of you doing that. It's like, were you pressured into doing that? Did you actually get a check? It just raises a lot more questions that I don't think that. I don't think that we need it, to be honest with you. Y'all, y'all can, I know y'all hate when I say this, y'all can do with that as you may. Where, where's the video? I mean, the video is still out there. Was it a network that made you drop? Like, if he did get paid, I feel like any person who has been wronged in that way should be paid. Um, Judy Wooten, thank you so much for joining the membership. I appreciate you. Oh, here we go. Booty Butter says he got his coin then ran. He will be, oh my God. He will be broke soon. He better, oh my God. I'm not reading the rest of that. I don't know. <laughs> I don't, 
Thank you for the uh thank you for the super chat. <laughs> uh um <laughs> y'all are crazy <laughs> moving on so uh, before i get into the larry reed stuff i want to say that i got sent the video of somebody who was a i guess friend employee of, of larry reed exposing him yesterday morning um i watched that video right before the live I believe the same person who sent me that video um, was in my chat asking me if I had seen it. And I did not know if I was going to cover this because I'm not a person who. In addition to allegedly exposing Larry Reed, this person exposed a multitude of other people that I never heard them say broke broke the law did something wrong i'm not in the business of exposing willy-nilly or outing people i'm not in that business and so i i really had like a lot of trepidation because i'm like well in that video he talked about he questioned the td jakes and prophet manasa stuff and there were things that i did not know were occurring so i was like do i run this story but then um, I got a lot of people who sent me the video who are fans, not fans, who are, you know, the TD Jakes Potter House, mem Potter House members, and they felt like you have to give all sides of the story. So now I'm like, oh, I, <sighs> that's fair. And then Larry Reed responded. So then I'm like, okay, well, if Larry has responded, and then um, I watched a video from Conscious TV. He responded. So I'm like, okay, it's out there. We can talk about it. But when we're talking about it, I'm going to, I'm not going to play this whole video because I don't think, I'm going to say this very clearly. I don't think it's okay to just out people for the sake of doing it. I don't know. Yes, um, somebody did say Larry deleted his response. I didn't know he deleted his response till this morning when I watched Conscious TV and Conscious said it, but I watched the whole thing. So I have a, I'm going to make sure to give as fair to all parties how I feel about the situation. But be warned, some of this stuff is very salacious and some of the stuff I can't play. There was a clip of somebody who had on no clothes. I'm like... I this was this was a hell of a lot. Um so here we go. His name is Terrell Hill. Um and again, I can't play for you all of this, but I'll like I said, I'll try to be fair. So I will put Conscious's response in this video if you want if you want to watch that. Cause he kind of um I believe that Conscious is Larry's mentee. So he kind of spoke up for him and then i'll put terrell's video in the description as well so that you guys if you guys want to follow all this but i'm not going to show you this whole thing because it's a lot let me start by apologizing to all that have been affected by what i'm about to address but suffered long because of my silence i must also seize the moment to offer my apologies to one person in particular alisa dunn i know what it is to play a part in a network where Victims were created. And to be honest with you, I didn't say anything at all. And it's one of my. Now, I'm not going to lie. His production value is pretty good. Biggest regrets. It's the reason why I'm really doing this video. Specifically, there are two people that I carry in my heart because I should have spoke up and I did. And though I think it's too late to stir the waters now, I want to say to you two specifically, I am so sorry. It will be self-explanatory by the end of this episode why I needed to apologize to Lisa. And by the way, hi, my name is Vincent Terrell Hill. Some call me Buddha, some call me V Terrell Hill. And for some of you, you call me Elder Vincent Terrell Hill. I worked with Larry Reed from Larry Reed Live from 2003 to 2018. At that time, I was everything from a personal assistant. Really quickly, um, so I did not know all of these players because I found Larry, I found Larry Reed through Tasha Kay. 
I remember when they were friends and I really liked their friendship. They were talking about like um, different ways to like build wealth through, through social media. I'm a glass half full kind of guy. So when their friendship, their friendship kind of like, I don't know how you would say how horrible, the worst way a friendship can end happened. I was kind of like, what the F? I don't go through all of the beefs that people have. I enjoyed seeing them as friends. And then when they weren't friends, they went straight to enemies. Um, but that's how I found Larry Reed. So I'm a, um, conscious has confirmed that this part of the man's story is true so far. Sorry. Our sexual relationship was over. I wasn't. I will do most importantly to Lisa. By the way, hi, my name is Vincent Terrell Hill. Some call me Buddha. Some call me V Terrell Hill. And for some of you, you call me Elder Vincent Terrell Hill. I worked with Larry Reed from Larry Reed Live from 2003 to 2018. At that time, I was everything from a personal assistant, executive assistant. Hold on. Who said I felt guilty? I'm a commentary channel. If you want to just watch the video, then that's what you should do. I'm a commentary, like, <laughs> um, mm -mm. <laughs> I traveled statewide and internationally, but most importantly, I am the creator and originator of the Larry Reed Live Show. Throughout those 15 years, 13 years were spent in a sexual relationship with Larry Reed. For a while, I believed I was the only one, or rather, the only man. However, Larry made me aware after our sexual relationship was over, I wasn't. I will disclose the other men in the church he's had some sort of... Now, here you go. Right there. He says that he was a lover of Larry Reed. Got it. And that he did not know that he was the only male. So what's interesting about this is this gentleman has been very clear that he played a role in some of, I, for lack of a better term, the bad stuff, because this allegation would mean that you were the mistress or whatever the male version of a mistress is, and you knew it. And then Larry told you after you and him were no longer doing that, allegedly, that you were not the only one. So this is where I will incorporate Larry's response. Larry feels like this person is disgruntled because they potentially wanted more of a relationship from Larry. So again, you guys can take all of this how you want it. I can just try to give you guys both sides because it's very salacious and I was low-key uncomfortable. Sexual relationship with outside of me as we move forward. Most of what I say in this video is provable. Everything else I saw with my own eyes are those directly connected to it told me. None of this is secondhand information. Yes, while he was married, pastoring, traveling the road, working with me on Larry Reed Live, we maintained an ongoing sexual relationship. That, to my knowledge, only he, Shamako Bryant, and myself was aware of from 2005 to approximately 2017, but I cut off the sexual relationship. Shamako didn't like our relationship. I remember you love for the switch him didn't like our relationship. More on Shamako Lee. Now you may ask, where did I get these audio clips from? Late night on January the 15th, 2023, Larry drove to my house to have a conversation with me months after him and I stopped communicating because he halted payment on an arrangement agreed upon. Now, um, somebody said, while you're preaching about gayness, um, this is where, this is where um, we'll pull from conscious. And the reality is he is fucking single. He don't got a wife. He's not TD, he's not TD Jakes. He doesn't act conservative in his beliefs. He believed that homosexuals and LGBT people have their place in the kingdom of God. Larry is inclusive. Larry is progressive. 
And that's why I was okay with talking about this. For years of work I did during my 13 years of service with Larry, the Breakthrough Church, Breakthrough Temple, and all of the iterations thereof, including Larry Lai. If you remember January the 15th, 2023, you may also remember Levantre Andrews. He was being interviewed by Tasha Kay, premiering in parts on YouTube, but in full on her website that same night. That night, he texted me out of nowhere wanting to talk and saying he will pay me my money that he owes me. Okay, so at this point, what he's alluding to is he feels as though as a scandal broke, Larry decided to pay him the money that he had already owed him. <sighs> It was done on the same night. So he's alluding to it basically being hush money. Now, one might feel it was hush money. However, he attributed his desire to talk to a dream he had. And he felt led to text me and to meet with me. Now, speaking of Levantre Andrews, let's go ahead and air this out real quick. If honest, Levantre and Larry would corroborate this one thing. I had no idea Levantre had accused Larry of molesting him two years later. To this day, I haven't received a clear answer from Larry or anyone in Larry's camp why no one told me. When I was literally the guy that handled all of the, or most of the fires rather, in the church. When Larry finally told me what happened around 2017 or something like that, 16 or 17, approximately 16 or 17, it was a very super generic story that I believe Levantre was lying because I remember Levantre being a lying teenager in the church. So I just chucked it off and went on about my business. After leaving the Larry Live community in 2018, someone prompted me, you need to go speak to Levantre. He feels like you helped Larry cover up his story. And I said, huh? So I reached out to Levantre just simply to let him know I didn't find out till many years later, only to realize that phone call brought me more than what I bargained for. Once Levantre gave me his side of the story, significant parts of it startled me because it mirrored the same sexual experiences I had with Larry Reed. See, Larry is a voyeur. He loves to see people naked. Delquan recounts a time that Larry uh, purchased him new underwear and wanted to see him in the underwear. Levantre recounted a time where Larry asked him to clean up his room in his underwear. What Levantre didn't know up until now, and he still doesn't know he's hearing this while you're hearing this, I knew he was telling the truth the whole time. Because I too was requested by Larry to do the exact same thing a many a times. Although I wasn't there. Um, so it's important to say that Larry has been, Larry has stated that he never... I think he said, and if you are, I think they call them LRLs. If you're LRL, if you are LRL in the chat, I believe Larry said that he has never messed with anyone below the age of consent. Y'all let me know um, in the chat. I said to Larry, as it relates to Levantre, here's what I said to Larry. Either you did something to Levantre or you provided the inappropriate details of your bedroom fetishes to a young member in the church. Either way, you are dirty, dog, wrong. One of the things that always bothered me about his Levantre is one thing and one thing only. When I talked to him back in 17, 18, he said something um, that was eerily similar to our experience. And I asked you about it and you said that you told him some stuff and yada yada. yada. So in my mind, uh, even if that was just that, there was already a line crossed. Do you think maybe you can just let, let him have this and just let him filter out, fill it out? It's so interesting to see. That's what was on my mind. And, and Marco said, he said, he said, I know y'all are going to be talking about some stuff. He said, but you need to ask me some of the things he said and stuff. I just need some good at what, what to do. But I don't think that would bode well in court because that admission could be seen as, well, if he was having an improper relationship with the assistant, why, why couldn't he have an improper relationship with the young drummer? 
So for you, for you guys who don't know, through all this research that I did last night, um, the young man that Tasha K interviewed, who, who alleged that you know things happened with he and Larry Reed before he was of age, um, Larry is suing him, I'm assuming like for defamation. So just a little background. I told you this was a this was a lot. This was a lot. And so it's that's that's a lot. It shouldn't have happened. And I told Larry explicitly, leave that boy alone. Now let me go deeper. No abuser operates alone, right? He or she always has a network of people to help them be who and how they are, which is a monster. No abuser operates alone. There is always a network of people aiding and hiding their secrets and abetting in their schemes and dirty work. If you know you are or were a part of such a network, get out while you can. Shamako Bryant. Okay, so yeah, I'm not, I'm not comfortable. I'm gonna skip through some of this because he named a lot of people, but I never heard him say that these people, let me take this man's face off. I don't know who this man is. Um, I never heard him say that these people broke the law or did anything. So I, I can't in good conscience play that. Um, hold on. Let me take this off the screen real, real quick. I now honestly think um just Patrick said not to be disrespectful in any regard, but this guy almost comes across more of someone who was scorned and possibly envious of the possible others than he is upset about anything else. That's how some people feel. And some people feel like, yes, he was he was OK and involved in whatever allegations of, you know, spending church money and doing all this and, and, and being the male mistress and all that. But now he's a whistleblower. So you have to think of him like any other whistleblower. Do I think that this will make a difference for Larry Reed and his congregation? No, because just like T.D. Jakes, people heard these accusations there's nothing definitive or facts out there's nothing on paper yet and people aren't leaving the potter's house until they see something like that so because he could not control larry i did out of town my fun and we i'm not i'm not a superstar in this he fondled me hold on all the time larry kendall lockley did it mm. but is he worse than larry if you ask me absolutely i'm the queen of the family That's under your noses and he was going in like only thing we got in common is this x y z and this right this. i'm like what are you talking about mm -hmm. that's not a good look and the way you try to say i'm the queen of the family that that was degrading it was disrespectful the reality is that i don't their timeline makes no sense to me um when they said the relationship started and issues with michael and latrice relationship it's very strange um because in my opinion before we move from north carolina this may not be true but in my mind, they were already in a relationship under Michael's notes. So in my mind, I feel like they're not truthful. But they could be telling their truth. <laughs> but from the outside looking in, it looks like you're grown enough to look back and see when this relationship started. Now, what you're telling us sounds good. But the reality is there was a connection, something drawn between y'all before that because she was spending a lot of time over there. And even from a professional standpoint, Felicia brought a broken relationship with her daughter to our church to be fixed. And Latrice was supposedly one of the keys. That's why her and Felicia was connected. But when I began to notice something else going on, I told the trees and Shamako in Oakland a long time ago, I said, keep them at your house. I said, there's something with lesbian, there's a connection there. And I even put Felicia under that same, for lack of a better word, spirit, you know, because it's how it was communicating then. It was, it was you and another woman like Larry. That should have never been. But it was, and that's okay. So when they tell this story like this squeaky clean, I don't know who y'all want to believe that. I don't believe it. Let's talk about Kendall. Okay, sorry. Kendall is the same. Sorry, hold Complicit on. Complicit and just a sexual permission. I want to hear from you guys. Put in the comments. I'm okay with anybody speaking true to power. He started off saying that he's apologizing to um, Lisa for whatever role he played. And I can appreciate that. That's your truth. It might just be me. Do you feel it's okay to name drop all these other people who did not break the law? I'm appreciative of this man being upfront and honest about whatever role he played because he makes allegations about the church money and all that kind of stuff. Um,
Okay. <laughs> Not Larry says he intends to make money off the whole thing. Okay. Okay, so yeah, some I see the majority are with me. Allegedly. Again, if you want to, you know, watch the whole saga unplayed, then you can go to, you know, their channel. But for here, I give my commentary. Um, and I'm not comfortable doing that. It was recording and sent us the still shots. Now, those of you that are viewers, you may not recognize this, what I'm going to show you. But Nathan knows his body, and I'm sure Crystal oh, knows no. too. Mm -mm. He's showing a semi-something pick. I'm not doing that either, sir. Um, I told you this was more salacious than I can do. He showed a video of somebody recording somebody with no clothes on. I can't do that. Would be or not. I could go on and on, Junior. The bodybuilder, the, I guess, security, oh, the masseuse. All right, hold on. Another sexual partner of last Cosmic in a... Oh. All right, let's keep going. It hurts my heart to know so many people so into the NBN Network Weekly, only for the leaders of this organization are the head leader to splurge, wasting money, and from what I have heard, promise much to the members are the patrons, yet drop the ball, underperform, or never fulfill the said projects or promises. One example of wasted funds, you might have heard of a recent story of this guy, this former staff member called Lester Peltier. As it relates to all the rumors that be going on in folk mind, just be made up in their mind. I am single and I can do what the hell I want to do, but that ain't happening. Larry Darnell Reed. Uh -uh. No, that's no, no, no. I wish I would be fooling up with a mentally ill my lover. Up. Somebody said, why are we mad at him outing people when that's what Larry been doing? He can do whatever he wants on his platform. It's just not something that I personally believe in doing. Um, like if Monique's son had not talked, I would have never like really tried to pull her son into the same conversation. Um, just my opinion in, in Terrell's defense, let me say this, cause we're a fair channel. I think that's his name, Terrell. Um, what's his name? Yeah. Terrell in Terrell's defense, he feels like he has to say names to legitimize the whole story. So he feels like he's going to say names and show proof of, you know, things that can be taken different ways. Because without that, then maybe people would not believe his full story. Being fair on this one was hard as hell. <laughs> hard as hell. Somebody's mentally ill, poor, not American citizen. I, I just can't say what y'all think. Who y'all think I am? I, I don't understand that. Do you see my ex-wife? Do you see the, the, I know there are beautiful women around me and beautiful men around me. Y'all see that? So then why am I going to go after that? Y'all just need to think just a little bit. I might have no, no lover that you had a fine in every way, shape, on now, and I'm not taking care of you. That's not happening. Let me explain. Whoever I'm going to be with, I'm going to take care of them. But you need to be able to take care of your darn self if I was not in picture, what I'm saying. No, it's crazy. That is the dumbest thing in the world. He was put on staff to be a chef for the NBN Network. Wallace, there was already a chef on staff, Latrice. Lester is now alleging that outside of the contract, which included housing, transportation, and a regular payroll, he was getting way more from Larry. This Lester story is not adding up, even when you hear it from Larry's mouth. Lester is um, a guy who I believe he's from, like, I don't know, the islands somewhere. He was a soccer player. He did an expose with another YouTuber recently. Um, so that's why this has come up. I did not cover any of these exposés just because um, that's a Eventually we end up, I was parents to stay in places, but like I said, one time, so I said, I could kill you, you had to come to Atlanta. Right. So he came to Atlanta, which was good because they got the country in marriage. And he was always beautiful. So it was time for Thanksgiving or Christmas. And 
Malcolm just wasn't done right. I think I was there when I opened it. And he left, he went to his aunt's house and took his stuff. But while he was there, just considering all the different stuff that was going on, Malcolm said, let's send the rest of his uh, stuff there. You know, like, so we can stay with him right on to just clear our mind and find out what we're going to do. It's okay. Mm-hmm. Well, he started thinking, these people are trying to get rid of me. Mm-hmm. So he's in New York. I feel like they're trying to get rid of him. He flew back to Miami, but he ended up homelessly in the money. Mm-hmm. And he got frosted, but didn't have to go to the hospital. So he gets mad and gets recovered. Mm-hmm. Oh, Jesus. Huh? Let me check this out. So now here I'm sitting on the phone. I'm like, okay, let's see what happened. Let me get to the phone. So he calls Mr. Whitehead. Now we don't know any stuff that's going on. Come find out Mr. Whitehead was going to pay him $20,000 up front, $20,000 in. Flew him back to New York. Are you, are you hearing this? Are you? I don't know if you guys heard this, but this boy who just did an expose about being, you know, with Larry and Larry putting him up in an apartment and all that was gonna be paid twenty thousand dollars by Bishop Whitehead to expose Larry. What the f is going on? That was not expected. Side note: Does Bishop Whitehead have Bishop Whitehead have twenty thousand dollars to just pay willy nilly? Just a thought. Him in a hotel room for three days. He's going to meet him at eight o'clock. He calls us at six. All of us had blocked him. That's not because we were going to be crazy. But he didn't muck with him. Mm-hmm. So he called Michael. Mm-hmm. And he said, I'm about to, um, I got in contact with Bishop Blackhead. We're going to do a story on Reed. And um, y'all push me to marry Latrice. He's saying all the stuff he needs to say to set up. Uh, like, like they're trying to get, we're trying to make it a federal thing. Uh, okay. And federal. And Michael said, Well, why are you calling me? I mean, you know, this person was, uh huh. How does my reader call me? You know, I can't believe he does it. I know this is not how he is. So he, I, was, I was trying to tell him in November. So I'm like, I said, I'm doing a whole lot. I can't right. do I can't right. take care of you and do what I can. Right. Like right. And so, you know me, Michael called me and said, What's going on? I said, Okay, well, let me do that. Michael said, Really? He just wanted to tell me. I feel like he talked to him. This is the kid like I said, I don't give a fuck. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting in front of me. I said, don't nobody make, try to make me do something. I said, I'm wrong. And I'm like, get up there. He said, hmm, 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 okay. He got my whole name. And it's like something was clicked. Mm-hmm. He said, listen to me, Larry. You know what I mean? Read. Call me. So I grabbed the phone and I called him. And as soon as I put it the phone, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I, I got something to tell you. Hmm. Lamar, which is his first name, right. I've been knowing him since 2019. He paid me to get close to you and get inside your business to find out who you are. Y'all. What the absolute fuck is that? The boy who was going to expose Larry for whatever they allegedly had going on was a plant from Bishop Whitehead dating back to 2019. Larry is alleging that Bishop Whitehead sent this, I guess, out of work soccer player to infiltrate Larry Reed's circle. Who then did infiltrate Larry Reed's circle and became a chef and then was going to do a big $20,000 tell all interview. Oh, um, no. That is some. Sh- <laughs> Who has $20,000 to try to set up? I told y'all this was a lot of salaciousness. This was a hell of a lot of shit. Just, it was a hell of a lot. But that white head. That's a dirty low down monkey with a wig on. No, I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying what Larry Reed just said was Whitehead tried to set him up by sending Lester to infiltrate the camp. At this, y'all believe what you want. That's what I. 
<laughs> I don't even know, y'all. And we haven't even gotten to the Manasa part. So this had to let that whole thing go because he didn't go through. You know, so he apologized. I make sure he had somewhere to stay close to my five Orlando. It's like um, Larry Lapid has a Mercedes right. in the apartment in, in the booking. Now, why would you take care of someone whom you thought was betraying you? Up until April 2023, Larry and Lester were cool because I have the text messages where he was trying to recommend masseuses and Lester was one of the ones he was recommending. Oh, hold on. Uh-uh. I hate when he starts posting all these photos. <laughs> You're not getting my channel in trouble. <laughs> if you listen to Lester's story, there was no bad blood made him do it. You did. I, you would have your cousin Latrice marry him. Because according to Mako, he never wanted to oh. marry Latrice. But guess yeah. who pushed it? And Darren there made him do it. You did. You've used Latrice twice to lock your boyfriends in. That's not nice. I asked Latrice, will she be interested in a contract to marry me? No, no, no. She was like, okay, she made him, she liked him anyway. She's okay, fine. You know, of course, she was never trying to have sex in the press. Right. But it was just to have a friendship. Mm -hmm. Him and Josh didn't want to do it. So now, technically, I don't even know what a, a contract marriage is. Maybe Larry talked about that on his Patreon. Um, Because I was watching Larry's Patreon yesterday as he was talking about, or he was responding to Terrell. He basically said that if you want more information, come to his Patreon at the $24 level and he will break it down. So maybe I should put Larry's Patreon. Okay, so I'm going to see if I can get a link to Larry's Patreon. For those of you guys who want to know, I'm going to link that in the description of this video along with Terrell's video and Conscious TV's video. Because I can't cover this whole saga. Allegedly, the NBN Network accountant or ex-accountant was stealing money. Hard-earned prophetic seeds. Patrons sold at the word of their prophet, Larry Reed. The accountant's name, the, the ex or former accountant's name is Eddie Banks. He was able to steal, according to what Larry told me, uh, $6,000 at a time. Now, Eddie, I'm not accusing you of doing You got to go ask Larry why he would call and tell me that. You think all the trips what? that you've seen me on? You I, I may, are you talking about this disruptive truth, or you think are you talking about me? Uh, Terry, go ahead and put that in the comments section real quick. Who are you talking about? Because I, I I don't think you're talking about me. Not the one that don't know. Uh. <laughs> Not the one who don't know, Larry. Okay, Terry, so you, you ain't saying nothing? Okay. Let's just give Terry the benefit of the doubt. She wasn't talking about me. Okay. <laughs> I never paid a dime. Not a hotel room, not a meal, not a plane ticket. Thank you, sowers of the NBN Network. Every car they drive, the oh, jewelry, wait. clothes, and the houses of not just Larry. Hold on, let's have some fun. She said me? Where? I don't see it. You think that I'm paid by Larry? I don't know this man, but on my channel, I'm fair. And I cannot play something this salacious without giving people the other side. How you guys interpret it, how you guys feel about it, I'm all right with. However, don't come into my page trying to read me or paint a picture of me when you clearly don't know what the fuck you're talking about. That's one thing that I really pride myself on is having integrity. I can't play this salacious shit without giving somebody else's side. I'm not going to do it ever. So I'm not going to uh, block you. I'm not going to uh, whatever. Because I also don't delete comments, but don't question my integrity. Because that's what that's why I'm different than a lot of other channels. So you can stay. I'm not gonna block you if you want, but yeah, don't do that. But partially the entire leadership is off of the back of the NBN church members. 
the patrons, the LRL platform supporters. And let me tell you, there's not one house owed. No one's paying mortgage. Your seeds are being poured into rent. Two houses in Atlanta, one house in Charlotte, one house in, at one time, two houses in Miami, one house in LA. Over it was it was around about I don't know the exact number, but I guarantee it was near sixty thousand dollars a month at one time that your seed sowing was paying into rent for one man and his. Um, so when Vincent said all of this, Vincent was in the accounting. So this is just my opinion. I feel like Vincent knows that Larry is very litigious. I found out last night that Larry had sued another content creator. This man knows Larry. Does he have some form of a receipt? I'm thinking that Vincent does. And Vincent also said that he will be interviewing with somebody. So I'm assuming that Vincent is going to drop those receipts. 60000 And he's alleging that it's with the church's money. But because, you know, I'm paid by Larry, let me give you the other side. <laughs> uh, Conscious TV said on his live today, that Larry Larry Reed makes six figures alone from his um he makes six figures alone from Facebook and then when Larry Reed and Tasha K were together because y'all know I got a good memory and they were talking about like money and stuff like that Larry Reed makes six figures a month from his Patreon as well so I'm thinking that if Vincent is going to say something like this. Vincent is probably going to provide another receipt. So watch out for that. Because I can't believe that he would say something without having it. So we'll see. Um, this is some messy shit. <laughs> this is some real messy stuff. No one generates a real penny. No one is a true entrepreneur. No one is making a significant amount of money are living outside of the NBN network. It is all off of you. It's not even those YouTube views. They're not that high. <laughs> be around so it's all off of you in the Reformation Church and in Patreon. The shade. We were watching a video. Uh, the producer and I was watching a video yesterday and one woman sold into Larry and she said, Larry, I sent you all I got. And my heart almost broke because these people believe in you and you are literally raising dark deviant hell behind the scenes. And I know there are some that's going to keep on supporting you, but I'm just trying to just trying to help somebody not make a mockery or fool out of themselves any longer. Now, um, really quickly, when I came back from Mardi Gras and I was at the airport, I met this lady who um, she she works on. She like drives the vans that get you from the airport to your back to your car. She was a nice lady. They were talking about some religious scandal. Um, the lady had no idea who I am. And so I just asked her about TZ Jakes. And she was almost in tears. And she was like, I, my daughter is no longer with us. But I will never forget how TZ Jakes and his wife prayed with us and for us while she was at the hospital before she passed. And I thought it was important to tell her, especially with, you know, what I have heard, what I have seen. Um, the scandal does not change what T.D. Jakes did for you and your daughter in that moment, giving you comfort. It does not change your connection to what this man did for you. And that's why this scandal has not taken the Potter House out. I said, but it does not change the fact that if these accusations pan out, that that is what it is. And then um, she started asking me, well, how do you know so much? And I said, oh, you know, I just watch. <laughs> I just watch a lot of YouTube. Uh but, I, you know, it was important to have that conversation because we forget that for a lot of these people, 
um, it's just spiritual guidance that they have received. You know, a lot of these people speak, even this gentleman, he speaks very well. He's very believable. You know what I mean? It this religious com these religious conversations are very tough because when I was in Larry Reed's um chat last night, I saw a lot of people who said that, you know, Larry has you know, change their life. Larry has been um, a voice for them, an ear for them. Um, and they are very devout to the spiritual side of things. And they don't care if these allegations are true or not about Larry's sexuality. And I'm just like, I get it. I get it. That's why there's so much gray area in all this. And this doesn't include Cameron and Erica Phillips or Josh Merrills or Felicia and mostly Nathan Lockyer. Okay. These people are fairly smart and could leave the NBN network right now and live a healthy process. And also somebody said, doesn't mean it's not. That's true too. We're just the court of public opinion. Right here. We're not the actual, uh, somebody said it, Blake. <laughs> Y'all. <laughs> Profitable lifestyle. Everyone else needs your tithe in your offering or they wouldn't be able to sustain the life you're trying to sow to get. I have heard more than enough stories of people going broke, being unhoused, and utterly depressed because Larry teaches a type of gospel that subtly demands you give or sow at the powerless word of the prophet with no significant manifestation, which is then attributed to the era of the sower. And, and for what I understand, the response is, if you're not, Receiving blessings from your seed, there must be financial sin in your life. Well, can you guess what the solution is to the financial seed sin? So again, so you see the cycle. I sow, nothing happens. I feel like I'm sinning. So I sow, nothing happens. I feel like I'm sinning. So I sow, nothing happens. In the meantime, while you're going in that loop, they're in Aruba and Miami and here, excuse me, we were in LA. We we're eating the best steaks off of that loop. I stayed in five-star hotels off of that loop. Now, one thing I don't understand, CTV said, and if Larry chooses not to sue him, that's his business. That is a true comment. But for me, just looking at it from the outside, looking at it from the outside, I would think that if if he sued content creators for, um, you know, if he sued content creators for interviewing, you know, his accusers and things like that, this man is putting your direct um, business in question. I would think whether you love him or not, you would still sue him if these things aren't true. So um, I don't know how many of these videos. I think Conscious TV is putting out a video today of uh, another recorded conversation. Apparently, all these people record each other. If you are my friend or if I, as Mims or you know my government name, call you and you feel the need to record, don't pick up the phone. Also, don't call me. Um, a really, really huge content creator called me one time and I knew they were probably like recording me. I was cognizant of that and that was fine. I I, I know what that content creator does and what that con content creator is about. But if you're my personal friend, don't be recording me, period. But um, I was talking to somebody who is a um, big Larry Reed supporter, you know, supports that whole click and they say that you know they record all the time so conscious has a recording of this guy and this guy had recordings of larry just don't do that with me <laughs> don't do that with me i don't like that some of this camera equipment i purchased off of that loop i'm not a hero here i'm a whistleblower i do like that he's saying he benefited directly he's letting y'all know that of these allegations, he benefited from the money that he's alleging that was taken from the church. So he's saying he's no saint. In my conclusion, I don't like, I am a gay man. I'm more direct oh, when I can curse and everything else. <laughs> uh, it's not that I have something to hide. It's just, why do you feel you need to record me if it's not a business conversation to pull from that? If you were recording somebody to keep it for perpetuity for Mad Day, I don't like that. 
<laughs> Bungie said, okay, we won't record you. <laughs> oh, we got like 3,500 in the chat. Definitely hit that like button, y'all. I've had my share of gay sexual experiences more than I would have liked to have. I have done everything that come to my mind outside of hard drugs. My nose, my allergies, and sinuses will not allow me to do that. <laughs> that being said, these men I named participating in gay sex, gay sex is not the issue. Outside of Levantre, these are grown men. The issue is the lies, deceit, and hypocrisy as they talk about others while doing the same thing themselves. It's Larry dragging Lisa all these years on her mothering and leaving him for a woman when he never even fathered his kids. Kendall, Larry, Latrice, and Mako, and myself did. Hold on. I don't know if that, y'all, I meant to skip that. I'm sorry. I, too far. <laughs> too far. <laughs> too, flag on the play. Flag on the play. Flag on the play. Don't bring the kids into it. I don't like that. Things with Shamako Bryant, Kendall Peacock, mm -mm. in all of these cases, you all's names are dragged in it because he never cared about any of us in the first place. He is sick. These people that have accused him might be liars. They might not pay their bills. They might have issues. They might not be a character. But for the interviews that I saw or heard, none of those people have characterized Larry Reed wrongly. Just because, Larry, you can assassinate characters don't mean that your character is clean. What he's talking about is um, there's a guy, the, the King Pain, um, King Pain. He's been doing a lot of interviews or, you know, with with the alleged accusers. That's what he's talking about. So. Um, what I will say is he prepared, he speaks with conviction, this, this guy, Terrell, he speaks with conviction and this was a very well prepared expose. I take no umbrage with him speaking his truth. Just, you can't just speak everybody else's <laughs> all willy nilly. If your issues with Larry Reed, keep it there. Not, not the kids. Just because somebody don't pay their bills or they owe somebody money don't mean they're lying on you. Everybody is not lying on you. It's the fact that you act as if you've only tried peeing. You would. You would do it if you wanted to do it. These kind of soft launches so you can come back to your audience and say, oh, well, I told y'all. No, 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 no. Tell the truth. You kept a 13 year sexual relationship with me. You enjoyed it. You wanted it. And when I didn't want to give it to you, you demanded it. You like men more than you like women. Stop playing with these people. Now, um, if there's any, if there's any Larry Reed, um, like subscribers, um, patrons, I, you'd have to tell me if that part is true or not. I don't know. Um, is it true that? Because from what I saw in his response, I, I didn't get that. But <coughs> strangely enough, that's what was said about T.G. Jakes. They said that T.G. Jakes um, says certain things. Oh, no, it was Eddie Long. Eddie Long said certain things so that when his, you know, when he got exposed, he could say, I told you. It's the fact that you have done stories on Brian Karn, E. Dewey Smith, Matthew Stevenson, Jamal Bryant. James Hall, I got to eat that one too. Some of these people we did stories together on. Daryl Walls and countless others while you are way more sinister and dark and deviant and ugly on the inside than they will ever be. This whole idea of the platform being about women and kids, how is that when the woman in your life you've mistreated ever since I've known you and her Mm -mm, we haven't those got kids to the, you deal with when you want to deal. We with. haven't got to the TD Jakes. You part. all have been lied to. Oh, how can I forget TD Jakes? For peace sakes. Hold on. That's a Jordan. Hold on. If you are truly somebody truly just said, uh, hold on. Where did where was it? Mim, stop protecting him. This is is 
No, Emily. We're going to get to the TD Jakes part because I got a lot to say on that. I ain't protecting, I ain't protecting um, TD Jakes. I'm protecting nobody. Uh, we're going to get to it. Trying to wave a banner of integrity or truth. Discard your partnership with Larry Reed of integrity. Want to deal with him. You all have been lied to. Oh, how can I forget T.D. Jakes? For peace sakes. Manasseh Jordan, if you are truly, truly trying to wave a banner of integrity or truth, discard your partnership with Larry Reed immediately or everyone that watches this, mark him as a false prophet shearing the sheep for gain. If T.D. Jakes is truly guilty, he won't be brought down by the hands of thieves. And darkness cosplaying as truth and light is not how that works. Bishop Bernard Jordan, if you are as integral and truly a prophet as you say you are, you know I'm telling the truth. You know it. We're Geminis. You know we don't, you know how we roll. Talk some sense into Larry. Sir, if you don't, Everyone watching this deem him a false prophet that would rather conveniently receive the seeds off of the back of the poor than to stand up for innocent people who's been trampled over by a dark, deviant psychopath. Do what's right, Bernard Jordan. You kn I know you know it. I know you see it. I see that you see it. Do what's right. Now, let me speak to content creators because everybody getting this. I don't have no friends. Well, I got friends. But in context of this, I'm equal opportunist. I sat back and watched you all cover Larry's stories and make mockery of it. You sensationalized the abuse of others for clicks and views. You interviewed people who were not credible. You were so excited to tell the story. The real truth was lost amongst hours and hours of pointless banter. Lots of shade and other nonsense in your YouTube and Facebook lives. You're wasting time. Stop manipulating the stories of manipulators to grow your channel. If you all would have simply done what I did today, just plainly just tell the story, it would not have been necessary for me to come out of retirement and do what I'm doing right now. To those no. Now, as it relates to T.D. Jakes, y'all, I have been covering the story based on what Manasseh has been saying, but I had my own questions. Question one, um, Larry has kind of become like, Larry's the one that brings it to social media. Manasseh does it a, a little bit, and then Larry, you know, gets information and disseminates it. Larry said that he would not, he wants he puts TG Jake's alleged victims in contact with TG Jake's team and says you have a certain amount of time to call them. And I had a Larry Reed subscriber come to me and say that that's because Larry loves the church so much he doesn't want that getting out. My question is this. Why put a victim in touch with their abuser? To me, that feels like it's keeping it quiet. If we're going to, you know, speak truth to power, why wouldn't you just put that out in the form of a lawsuit? Right? Like, that was one of my big questions when I've been watching all these interviews and everything. Why wouldn't you put that directly in front of a judge? I, you know, I'm a Catholic, and I definitely don't agree with all of the, you know, like cover-ups and things like that. So if I ever got to talk to Larry, that would be my question. Why put them in touch with that person? Because to me, I would feel like the only thing that they would do, they have a lot of money, they would just pay the person off and they would keep it quiet. Same with Christian Keys. Why keep it quiet? You put us, as in the world, in it, and then you went ghost. 
So yeah, I, that that that's always been my question. Those who are watching, I got something to say to you too. God is tired of the lies. He's sick of the nonsense. Exposure is here. He didn't lie there. <laughs> Leave other people's houses alone and get your house in order. Now, I know the majority of you came over here to be nosy. Hi, my name is Vitorio Hill of Soul Healer. Welcome to Safe Space. But now that you're here, you are now accountable and responsible for your part in this. Every time you see a video, you like a video, you share a video, you comment on a psychopath's channel, you are complicit to the blood that's on his hand. If I'm telling the truth, if Levantre is telling the truth, poor you, you're paying for it. You're going to pay for it. All right, here's what I'm going to do moving forward. I'm going to do one question and answer live when I feel like it. Then I'm going to choose one integral, one integral, integral platform and one interview only. And after that, I'm going back to soul healing and helping people that want to. Hold on, let's see if we can find this other part about Manasseh. I'm for a woman. In my mind outside of hard drugs. Happens, I feel like I'm sinning. So I give our soul at the powerless word of the prophet with no significant manifestation, which is then attributed to the era of the sower. And, and for what I understand, to all I got, and my heart almost broke, of you, it's not even those YouTube views. They're not that high for him to be around so long. It's all off of you in the Reformation Church and in Patreon. We were watching a video uh, the producer and I was watching the video yesterday and one woman sold into Larry and she said, Larry, I sent you all I got and my heart almost broke because these people believe in you and you are literally raising. Um, I think I skipped over the part, but basically what he said was when Manasseh was, he, he feels like Manasseh is building his Patreon, like Manasseh is dropping breadcrumbs to build his Patreon. And I was like, if that's accurate, that's messed up. Even when everything broke, if you are new to the channel, because I see we got a lot of people new to the channel, um, when everything broke out about TD Jakes and the whole power bottom thing and him being bent over on a motorcycle holding up high, I did not cover the story. I didn't cover it. Um, when people say, oh, YouTubers just want money, there's all kinds of salacious content that I choose not to cover. I, I just won't do it. I only talked about it after TD Jakes responded to it. I wasn't going to cover this video. I covered it after Larry Reed responded to it. Um, and conscious. Manasseh, he's alleging he's a victim. He was groomed. He can take as long as he wants. But if what Terrell is saying and he's building his Patreon off that, that puts things into question. In my opinion, you know, maybe not for the world, but for me, it's like, A, what do you really want to get out of it? Are you like going to be suing for a dollar? I think, who was that? Not Cameron Diaz. One of them other ladies. Somebody sued somebody and she won, but she only sued for a dollar because she just wanted the story out. It was a lady in the Marvel movies. She paid, um, she played Iron Man's wife. Is that what we're doing? Because now we've all been, we're now all part of this group chat. And now I have questions. I have questions. So I want to know in, you know, in the comment section, does that put anything in question for you guys? Like you can take as long as you want for the lawsuit. Uh, you know, a lot of people do a lot of discovery and stuff like that, but just kind of like with Christian keys, which is how I tied all this in. We, as in the majority celebrate victims coming forward feeling comfortable enough to tell their story. And then we, the public, give them our, we help out however we can. Um, public interest can change the world. Look at what happened with the, the young lady who was unalived in Mexico. 
It was YouTubers who put that out there and pushed it. We now know that from just one email, this whole power bottom thing got started to the point where T.D. Jakes felt he needed to respond. You can speak truth to power, but now we have questions because at this point, nothing has been proven or really like there's nothing definitive about T.D. Jakes. This guy, um, Terrell, he has some receipts and I'm pretty sure he's going to be releasing more receipts and Conscious TV is going to be releasing receipts as well. So, you know, you're going to hear all these things and believe who you want in all these situations. But my question is for, you know, the T.D. Jakes, the Christian Keys, the Manasa. Where what happens next? What happens next, y'all? Um, let's see. Uh, look up photos of Larry Reed from Dubai. Interesting. Bonji's so messy. <laughs> uh, Poets Rhythm, thank you so much for the super chat. Bonji, they wanting to be... So <laughs> Bonji's, a, Bonji's messy. Bonji... <laughs> uh, Poets Rhythm says, too much memes, too much. Shake my damn head. This was a lot. Measurement said, these celebs and pastors have been giving us the business. Lester said he used to he used him like he used everyone else. That's why I, I wasn't going to cover um, the story. One of the gentlemen who did an interview said that, you know, he was groomed. But at the same time, he said he used Larry like he uses everybody else. So I, I can't like that's I. I don't think Larry's sexuality should be in question like this. I think that people are more aghast about his sexuality, his alleged sexuality than anything else. Booty butter. I don't even let me read this before. I, OK, that's not bad. Who's Terry? Oh, <laughs> Terry, the one who don't. Oh, uh, booty butter says pay Terry. No mind. She had cat food for breakfast. <laughs> oh, thank you for that. Miss Mars says, Mims, please do not allow the audience chats to upset you. You're doing a great job. Thanks. I don't mind if you guys, you know. I'm not above reproach. Let me know. Just like, you know, Kelly Price is going to get with me. I'm not above <laughs> reproach. <laughs> Let me know if, you know, I, I misstep or, but to me, that was almost like coming at my integrity. Silver Blue, thanks for the super sticker. To be blessed for you says, you always do a great job. Appreciate you, Mims. Thank you. And I try to be fair. This, I, I told y'all, this was salacious. Even for my channel, this was salacious. So there was no way I couldn't give you both sides. Doesn't mean that I was poking holes. I was literally doing my best to, as he said something, answer in real time from the other side so that you guys can decide. But I'm also linking you to Larry's stuff, linking you to Conscious's stuff, and linking you to Terrell's stuff. So you guys can definitely piece together how you feel about this situation. Uh, Mickey Jones says, keep doing what you're doing, Mims. This is a mess, yet you still stand on business with your report. And hats off to you, sir. Thank you, Mickey. I appreciate that. Um, God Spoiled Brat says, I'm new, love the details of this channel. Thank you. I appreciate you, God Spoiled Brat. I like your name too. Booty Brother, Terry's still in the chat and it's. <laughs> Did Terry go off on me? Terry can even stay in the chat. Just, you know, just don't question my integrity because I try to have a little at least. I try to. Um, Bonji, true. Mims Larry has said Camacho raised his kids. Okay. Um, Salvation Air, thank you so much for the super sticker. And again, for the super chat, why is he complaining after 13 years? If you could have been in Larry's chat, they were lighting him up. I don't know. Um, well, I do know. People can grow. People can change. People can have a change of heart. People can realize they did some effed up stuff. And sometimes they just choose to let it surface. I don't disagree with this man coming for it. Just some of the things where maybe the kids and stuff, I, I would have left that out. I definitely would have left that out. And you just, just, you know, outing people all willy nilly, I would have left out. But I don't fault him for coming forward and, and telling his truth. Um, Julian Cardi says, Mims, we have, was he coming to you for that one interview? No, 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 no. In fact, I thought that maybe he had sent me this, but it was actually a straight shooter. Um, I thought that Terrell had sent me a link to this, but it was actually a straight shooter. 
No, this man does not know who I am. I don't even think Larry Reed knows who I am. Conscious does because um, I've been following Conscious since he was trying to broker peace between some of Tasha K's people. Happy, um, thank you so much for the super sticker. And happy again, thank you for the very generous super sticker. I appreciate you. Um, what did John Doe? You missed a hell of a lot. You missed a hell of a lot. It says no, he complaining because he didn't get his money. Uh, we don't know. I think that. Well, I feel kind of like the chat isn't split this time. I think there are some people who don't like what uh, Terrell did, but I think overwhelmingly, maybe seventy five percent of the chat uh, agreed with them. So. But again, I'm going to link all their stuff in the description. So it's a whole saga. You guys can watch it all. Can somebody tell me how many likes we had? Let's see. Okay, we got 1,200 likes, but we got like 3,600 people. So definitely hit that like button on your way out. I don't know that I can keep up with all this. I, I don't. I'm not even going to lie to you. This was a hell of a lot. I hope that Manasa... Um, actually speaks on what's going on because Manasa has said there's multiple um td jake's alleged accusers who have come forward so we'll see but again nobody owes us anything we're just a court of public opinion we're not really the courts but this was a mess <laughs> y'all have a good day y'all have a good day <laughs>